Okay, so I made some changes to the blowing up water experiment, uh, and what I've done really is I've taken uh, five two kilovolt capacitors and arranged them in parallel, so you've got at least ten kilovolts there. Obviously, the capacitance goes down when you do that, but we've got ten kilovolts. Now, here's the spark gap. I've abandoned the spark plug. It was just too limiting and kept burning. And this is a spark gap that I've had kicking around for ages. Now, I've put water on the board here. There's nothing in the spark gap at all. It's all on that board, okay? And it's running the same way that oh, the last one run. And now watch this. Now, isn't that weird? Do it again. So there's no water in that spark gap. All the water is on the board here. And that's what burns. Put a bit, bit more on. So you see, not on the spark gap, on the board. Ready? How about that? Mm. Now, why that isn't happening in, in the spark gap is beyond me. Why it happens on the board is fascinating. But that's burning water outside the spark gap. So we should be able to set this up somewhere without the spark gap erosion problems that have been happening. Again, one more time to have a look at that. Like I say, no water in that gap. I mean, I can barely see. It's so bright. It's incredible. So, fascinating stuff. If anybody's got any explanation why this might be happening, I'd love to hear. Absolutely fascinating. Thank you very much.